Begin to confess your sin and ask God to wash away every sin of unrighteousness, to cleanse you. Begin to pray that God will forgive you that you know it and you know part in judgment. That devil will not see anything to hold you responsible. Remember that each time you dine with the Lord, you are strength, renewal, restoration. There is always a power dimension. There is always refreshment in your life. Then you don't confess your sin. In the name of Jesus, lift up the bread as God dear for Lord Jesus Christ. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do and remember us of me. Shall we partake the body of the Lord Jesus Christ? Lift up the cup. And after the same manner, also he took the cup. When he had said, This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me shall partake the blood of the Lord God. Father, I thank you that as many that partake this, Lord, I speak restoration in your life. Lord, I pray that Lord Whatever that is dead in your life will come back to life in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I pray because as a result of this, that every satanic deposit is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And Lord, and I pray, oh God, that Lord, you renew your strength upon your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yeah. Pray. Yes. Say, I am ready. I am ready. May you rise up as we pray. Begin to thank God for making you to be a part and making you to be the land of living. There are many people who could not see the month of October. But by His grace and by His mercy, you are here. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to appreciate you. Bible said that in the tenth 
form. Esther was launched into the palace. She was thrown in the palace. She was taken to the king in the palace. Why? Why? Why?
children will help us peace. They will locate you in this month. They will find you in this month. We need to speak to God. My help us. So we can send my help us.
department represent here things that does not glorify God in our life. Things that displeases God. Things that God did not allow. Things that God commanded that we should do away with it. Things that God commanded that we should not touch. That is what the ornament is representing. I don't know the ornament in your life. I don't know the kind of ornament that you are putting on. And the Bible mentioned in this place, when you understand the scripture very well, the Bible says that God told Moses, tell these people that they need to move forward. They need to move ahead to their promised land. They will stand or will stay. But I am not going to go with them. Why? Because they are stiff-necked people. Why? Because they have things that are ungodly in their life. No way I can go with them. And Moses told the Israelites that this is what the Lord is speaking. The same thing God is speaking to our life at this moment. What is an ornament that you put in your life that is denying the presence of God upon your life? Ornament can be a kind of life that you are living that does not please with God. Ornament can be a character that you possess that does not please with God. So you need to change your life because if there's an ornament in your life in this month of October, God said, I am not going with you. Are there ornaments in your life? Are there things that you are doing that does not glorify God? Are there things that you are doing that is making God angry? Are there lives that you are living that God is not happy with you? It is time to make a change. It is time to remove the ornament. I want you to understand when you look at what is happening around the world, especially in Christendom. It's people now. Believers are rebel. Now they are rebel. We are supposed to follow God. There are people they have their own self doctrine. People they worship other things, and yet they call themselves a Christian. They call themselves a believer. There are people who worship other things, they worship other gods. Children of Israelite, they proclaim with their mouth. They only live, it only comes from their lips that they love God, that they worship Him, and yet they also worship great Amen. They also mold gold and begin to worship gold as an ornament. And God said, I cannot go with you. If God is not going with you in this world, you need to take off the ornament. You need to take off those crook movements, all those crook lifestyles. There are people here, the way you worship your God, that is your own style. People created their own doctrine that I worship my God in my own style. There is no style about the style of the word of God. There is no any other doctrine that you should build to worship God apart from the standards of the word of God. Hallelujah. Many things are happening in the world today. And all these things, they are not happening. The life of those that are not believers. Atrocities happening in the world today. It's happening among the believers. You can never differentiate the believers and unbelievers. Why? 
You cannot differentiate those that worship God and those that worship shrine. Hallelujah. God said, I will not go with you. I will not go with people who have a rebellious attitude. I will not go with people that have a stiff neck spirit and a stiff neck lifestyle. They cannot heed their life to the word of God. There are many ornaments in your life, even as I'm talking to you now. There are many ornaments. In your life. In the book of Joshua, Joshua, ask the children of Israel, I say, choose this day whom to serve. Is it the God of your forefather that they worship by the seaside? Or you want to serve the living God? For I am a high school. We shall what? We shall serve the Lord. it is time to choose. Go to serve. Are you not tired of the type of Christianity you are? Are you not tired the type of the service you render unto God? Devil is ruling the world. And the Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. But many people do not understand this scripture very well. You need to eat with the world. You need to do what the world is doing. Whatever they are doing, you will be part of it. No, we are different. It is time for you to choose who God or God are you going to serve? Is it the God of that the forefathers? Or the God that created you? Why do you need to take off ornament? Number one, so that God will go with you. So that God will do what? Because if God does not go with a man, you are joining me halfway. Hallelujah. Amen. If God does not go with you in the journey of destiny, you will end up halfway. People, many people have ended up halfway. Why? Because God does not go with them. So God must go with you. That's the reason why you need to take off the ornament. Whatever that does not please with God, you need to take him out. Those who are fornicators, you need to take out that fornication spirit from you. There are people who cannot do without sleeping with a woman for a night. Even when you give people a chance to fornicate in the church, they will do it without fear. People don't have fear of God anymore. People are playing God. Whatever displays him, take it off. Because you don't know God may be angry. For God to go with you, you will do what? You will do what? In this box. I said, don't want to pray with somebody in this box. Say God can destroy. Say God can destroy. 
In the book of Hebrew, chapter 12, 29, he said, Our God is a consuming fire. In Deuteronomy 4, 24, said, For the Lord your God is a consuming fire and is a jealous God. Am I to know that one of the characteristics of fire is what? Who can say? One of the characteristics of fire is what? Destruction. And the Bible says God is a consuming fire. If God is a consuming fire, it means God will do what? He can destroy. Remember the place we read. He told them that if I may go with you, I may destroy you. So God is a destroy man. So people who are playing, who are calling with your man, who are calling with your salvation, you can be destroyed. So you need to take on the honor man so that God will not destroy you. But when God is angry, the next thing is destruction. So you must find all you can to make sure that you take off your partner. Number three. So that God will release his mind. And God is happy with a man. And God is happy with you. To make the place is sufficient. Yes, and anything you put hand, you know what you do? Of course. It will take out the tournament. You need to make sure you destroy all those things so that God will help you. Romans 8:8. 8, 8. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot be strong. Romans 8:8. 8, 8. He said, those who are in the flesh, they cannot please them. So if you cannot please God, it means God cannot please with you. And if God cannot please with you, it is dangerous. It means totally God is not happy. Hallelujah. It means God is not Yes, things were working well because they were never Hallelujah. Amen. You can be making money, you need to change the mentality and the mindset that someone that is making money, which means God is on his side. No, it's a wrong mindset. 